Honey, I'm running late. issues on rice versus the state of Florida here. You got a towel? <laughs> Mary Ellen, is something wrong? No. Come on. What's bothering you? Nothing. I know that nothing. That nothing means something. Come on, what do I do? If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Well, if that's your attitude, fine. Fine. Mom, Dad, I need some advice. What is it, sweetheart? You remember Marvin Hoover? The kid in Ollie's scout troop who got his foot caught in the sewer grate? Well, he's been following me How around How am I it... supposed to know what's wrong if you don't tell me? Oh, sure. Turn it around. Make it my fault. That's just like you. This is just like Vietnam. I have no idea why we're fighting. Dad, I know this probably isn't a very good time, but I have to have lunch with this kid at school. And if I you need money, to... check with your mom. I have no cash. <laughs> Haskell, you picked the wrong day to be on time. What are you talking about, Squirt? If you have to go in, you better leave your hard hat on. Yeah, thanks for the warning, uh, but don't worry. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of interfering. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning, Mary Ellen. And might I say, you look lovely when your marriage is hanging by a thread. <laughs> ah, some days are just too good to be true. <laughs> Ah, there you are. What did that big, mean, nasty wife do to my friend Wally? Look, we just had a little fight. It's no big deal. Did she find out about you and your secretary? That she's been doing more than typing your briefs? Andy, I have not been fooling around with anybody. Ah, then I know what you need. An apartment by the airport with stewardesses by the pool. We'd have a blast. We'd have a blast? Sure. I'll leave my ball and chain if you'll leave yours. Eddie, I have no intention of leaving my wife. Fine. Then just fool around on her. <laughs> it's your conscience. <laughs> Cheers. Say, Ellie, I haven't seen your gorgeous cousin all morning. Don't worry. I'm sure her luck can't hold out forever. What's that smell? It's feta cheese. Kelly and I are lynching Greek today. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Okay. <sighs> Marvin's looking for you. What am I gonna do? That guy's harder to shake than a new bottle of ketchup. Well, I'd like to help you, but I gotta get out of here before someone from my history class sees me. I'm ditching. What? Are you out of your mind? You can't ditch. You'll get caught. You'll get detention. Better than flunking history. I've got a test I didn't study for. Why didn't you just play sick like you always do? Hey, I'm in the eighth grade. I'm a little more mature than that. 
Look, Kelly, we've been going to school for 1,384 days. I mean, what's the big deal if I miss one? You actually counted how many days we've been in school? Well, I didn't have anything to do in study hall yesterday. You could have studied for your test. Life's full of regrets, isn't it? Look, are you coming or are you going to have lunch with Marvin? I don't know. Bon appétit. Which effectively marked the end of the Dark Ages. And that concludes all the material that will be covered on tomorrow's test. Lights, please. June, would you mind waiting a moment? If it's about my paper, I know you said 10 pages maximum, but that Ottoman Empire is no, so fascinating. No, 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 no. Your paper's fine. Oh. Uh, I know that school policy frowns on faculty student relationships, but as you will be graduating soon, I was wondering if you would accompany me to the faculty hoedown tonight. Why? I'm flattered. Uh, but I know I... it's short notice. But all semester I've wanted to. Well, let's just say I'm still a sucker for students who wear nylons to class. Well, I don't know what to say, Dr. Clancy. It's Robert. And how about saying, I'd love to. And then I'll say, I'll pick you up at six and have you home by nine. Robert, I'm a big girl now. I can stay out later than that. Not tonight. You have a test to study for. <laughs> Hey, Beef, what's going on? My secretary's sick, and I gotta get this copy before lunch. Oh, who's the key operator? Lumpy. Where's the lumper? He went to have his body fat measured. Want to get in on the office pool? 40% is still available. Uh, thanks anyway. Say, so look, Beef, I, uh, I have this little problem. Yeah, I heard. So uh, you and Eddie are getting a place by the airport. <laughs> yeah, right. What started the fight? I don't know. Well, what did Mary Ellen say to you? Nothing. Those are the worst kind. safe to go home now. What time is it? 11.45. And in the middle of a conversation, he just walked out of the room. Wally can be so inconsiderate. And it's not the first time, either. Well, he gets that way when he's preoccupied. Sometimes men just have tunnel vision. What do you think about this for my big date tonight? Oh, it's darling. I don't know. Maybe it's too dressy. You know, the kind of money teachers make. <laughs> ah! How about this? Oh, now that's stunning. <laughs> of course, I'd have to take it in and shorten it. 
Oh, look at the price. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Is he handsome? Oh, dead ringer for James Garner. Then go for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The best way to patch things up with your wife is to get her something that makes her feel pretty. I tried that once. I offered to pay for a nose job. It almost cost me my life. I was talking about lingerie. That intimate stuff works like a charm. Oh, sure. I'm gonna listen to a guy who's been divorced for seven years. <laughs> a relief to find the perfect dress for a big occasion. Oh, such a load off my mind. Now all I have to do is find shoes, a handbag, and have my hair done by six. Are you sure this is the right thing to do? Trust me, lingerie is it. The mood Mary Ellen's in, she's liable to throw it at me. That's why you're not buying her a lamp. Steve. Come on, it'll be an experience. This is really uncomfortable. Uh, so is sleeping on the couch. Can I help you? Yes, he'd like to see something very soft and feminine and frilly. <laughs> For his wife. A uh, special occasion, birthday, a getaway weekend? Nah, she's just really mad at him. Uh, tell me, what size is your wife? Um, well, she, she's a, a, about... Uh, I'm not really sure. Well, what kind of build does she have? Well, she's kind of, um, uh, sort of... What's her hair color? Oh, well, her hair's, uh, it, it's brown. Uh, blonde. Kind of hard to tell. When was the last time you saw this woman? Uh, I think I'll take my chances with a lamp. Uh, come on, Wally. Hey, you know, we'll, uh, this is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, that, but I, I don't think it's her color. Would you like to see it in blue? Uh, yes, uh, please. Wow. How are these things supposed to stay on, anyway? You know, I don't think they're supposed to. This is never going to work. Well, sure it is. Because lingerie says she's desirable. It, it says I love you. And it's a lot less expensive than a diamond. You know, I bought Kimberly one like this. Oh, yeah? How'd it look on her? I don't know. She never turned on the light. Is this what you had in mind, sir? Uh... Could we see this one, too, please? Uh, no, no, I, I, I think that one looks great, don't you? I mean, uh, don't you think Mary Ellen would like this? It looks real good to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe this isn't a bad idea after all. Thanks. I know at times couples take each other for granted. But if you come around, he just has a lot on his mind. I'll say he does. <laughs> Looking for something? Oh, no, thanks. We're already being helped. Oh, Mary Ellen. I was just buying something for you. It was my idea. How thoughtful of you. But I was only doing it for you. Oh, we have a marital problem, and your response is a trip to Titillation City so you can dress me up like a baby doll? But lingerie means love. Tell her, Beef. What I want from you is some communication and respect, not underwear. Oh, Wally. Mary Ellen. Has Mary Ellen put on a few pounds? Laundry doesn't work if they feel overweight. You gotta hand it to 
for y'all. It looks like we really got away with it. Maybe we did, but my stomach sure didn't. It really feels upset. I think I ate something bad. Besides six corn dogs, gotta go, Arwen. Great flowers, Mom, from Dad. Well, that's what I thought till I read the card. They're for you. Really? From Marvin. Oh. So, how was school today? Oh, you know, school-like. Just your average day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why does Marvin write, sorry you were out sick today, but I saved you some moussaka. Get well soon. <laughs> That's Marvin. Strange sense of humor. Kelly, did you go to school today? Yes. I just didn't exactly stay all day. You ditched school? Well, Marvin was driving me crazy. He always calls me up, sends me notes, makes me lunch. He just won't leave me alone. Well, did you tell him you weren't interested? Six no's, two get out of my life, and so one drop dead. I just couldn't take another one of his international lunches. But running away from a problem isn't the answer. You should have come to me. In my day, I've brushed off more than a few Marvins, you know. Well, I tried talking to you guys this morning, but Dad was too busy with work, and you were too busy fighting with Dad. I'm sorry, honey. We certainly didn't mean to ignore you this morning. I guess sometimes your dad and I get so wrapped up in our own problems, we don't hear anyone else's. And if this ever happens again, you remind me of that, okay? Okay. Are you gonna tell dad? No. And if he asks why you're spending all day Saturday in your room, I'll tell him you're reorganizing your closet. <laughs> Well, what do you think? I think you must be awfully worried about your grade. Oh, Beaver, now you know I do very well in class. I know, Mom. I've seen your report cards. <laughs> and now I want to see what kind of a professor paints a dress like that. Well... Howdy, man. June. Am I early? Uh, no. Oh, oh, didn't I tell you it was a hoedown? Yes, but I didn't think you meant it literally. Uh, hello, Professor. I'm Theodore. Why don't we go in the den while my mother changes? June, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Oh, honestly, no, it's, it's no trouble at all. <laughs> I really do feel a little embarrassed. Uh, uh, don't be. Uh, those kind of ties are coming back. <laughs> hey, Dad, what's Grandma so steamed about? Uh, her chaps are in the cleaners. Uh, <laughs> Professor Clancy, this is my son, Oliver. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, make yourself comfortable. Dad, I didn't know Grandma was going to a costume party. We're late for dinner. You two have fun tonight. I didn't know we were going out for dinner tonight. Not just dinner. Dinner at the mall. The mall? I was there this afternoon. I got a whiff of those corn dogs, and I haven't been able to think of another thing all day. Corn dogs? I know what you're going to say. It's not the best thing for either one of us. What the heck? Tonight, it's all you can eat. <laughs> Isn't this great? Yeah. Eh, just me and you and John Barleycorn. <laughs> yeah. Good old male bonding. <laughs> well, maybe Mary Ellen's right to be mad. I mean, after all, I'm not a perfect husband. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm just walking through my life, not really paying attention to the, the people that I love the most. I don't have time. Excuse me. Is this going to go on for a while? Because if it is, I can just wear the headphones. <laughs> now, the worst part is that I'm afraid to go home. I don't want to just lie there all night not talking to each other, pretending to be asleep. You know, if the cloud cover's not too low, I can pick up Norwegian TV. Now, those people understand entertainment. <laughs> I mean, this is stupid. I love being with Mary Ellen, and she loves being with me. So why aren't I with her? Because you're here, driving me nuts. 
So what do you want to watch? Scandinavian ski girls or I love Lucy on the floor? Good choice. But um, I think I'm going to head home. It's getting late. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. I think I ever wanted him for a roommate. <laughs> yeah, Lucy. <laughs> Honey, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen? Hi. Oh, hi. Um, I was working late and I uh, didn't want to disturb you. I was up. Oh. Kids are asleep, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I guess it's time for me to hit the hay, too. Sounds good to me. Might I add, Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely outfit you're wearing. You might. Tonight at 7 Eastern, TBS is proud to present John Wayne in the world's color premiere, Flying Tigers. Then at 9 o'clock, join host Tom Chapin for the world premiere of National Geographic Explorer. And at 10 o'clock, rediscover an intriguing world with Cousteau, Smoldering Seas. Now, NWA Main Event is next on TBS. Oh, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo.